Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to turn your PS Vita into a PC games controller for your computer. So I will be doing this on Windows 10 and it basically just picks it up as a universal games controller. So you can use a PS Vita to play emulators and all of that kind of stuff on your PC. So what you guys want to do to get this started is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. And then when Vita Shell loads, all you want to do is press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so on your PC I will leave a link to Vita Stick in the description and basically guys you just want to scroll down and it tells you how to install it so you will need to copy the plugin to your um, URL or UXO TAI folder. But anyway, what you want to do is first just open up the download link and what you want to do is scroll down and get this zip file right here. Um, kind of new software, um, released 27 days ago, well that was the last update. So now what you want to do is just go to your downloads folder just find the software, all you want to do is right click the zip file and then select extract here. It's then just going to give you all the files, it gives you a readme file, you can just delete that because you don't need it. And all you want to do is just copy these two files to the root of your PS Vita. So once the files are on there like that, we can now go back onto the PS Vita and I will show you guys how to install them. Right guys, so back on my PS Vita, I'm just going to scroll down and go to my UXO because I actually want to copy this file to my URO tie folder. So it was this one right here is what you want to copy, the SKPRX file. Press triangle on it, go down to copy, then press circle to go back, go into your URO, now look for your TAI folder. So mine is right here, and all I'm going to do, just press triangle and then just do paste. Now once you've got the plugin in here, all you want to do is just open up your config.txt go down to the kernel and you want to create a new line just by doing the um, right d-pad just like that so I'm just going to delete that and then on the new line you just want to pe press X on it and then type in this exact line of text so URO or UXO depending where your tie folder is ti slash vita stick dot skprx once it's done just tap the arrow down here press circle we'll ask you to save press X now go all the way back to the main menu now what you want to do is install the VVK so go onto your UXO Scroll all the way down, find the Vita Stick VPK, which is right here. Press X on it, X again to install it. And now we're done with Vita Shell, so you, all you want to do is just close out of it. It's also a good idea just to reboot your PS Vita, um, so I'm just going to do that right now. I'm just going to press um, Start and go down to Reboot. Alright guys, so now what you want to do is just find the app on your home screen. Uh, so here is mine, Vita Stick, so just press X on it and then press X to start it up. So once it's started like this, you actually want to go ahead and connect it to your PC. So just do that, just get your USB cable and then simply just connect it in. Right guys, so this is kind of awkward to see, but once it's connected to your PC, what you want to do is press the power button and then when it loads up, just go ahead and unlock your PS Vita. So now your um, PS Vita should be connected, you should be on this screen up here, you should be the white text, and you can now use it as a games controller. So I'm just going to switch to my PC screen and show you guys how to get this thing working. Right guys, so once it's connected to your PC and it's in the controller app, what I'm going to do is show you how this works. So if you're on Windows 10, all you want to do is just go to your search bar and type in settings. You then just want to click on the first one. Now once you're in settings, you just want to go over to devices. This is going to display every device that is connected to your PC. And as you can see, the PS Vita comes up, but it comes up as a controller. So all you want to do is just click on it, scroll up here and just go to devices and printers. You should then find your PS Vita on here. So all you want to do is just right click on it and go to game controller settings. So in these settings, what you want to do is just go to properties. And now this is going to be the test. So what you want to do is just pick up your PS Vita now and move the analog sticks and just make sure that they work just like this. Make sure they move and stuff like that. Also test out your buttons. Um, I'm going to press X right now. So X is button two, circle is button three, triangle four, square f oh, squares appears to be one. And um, then we've got the arrow keys as well. We've got um, left and right as well. So as you can see, all the buttons work. Um, even start and select appear up on here. 
So yeah, we definitely know this thing is working. So now I'm going to pair this controller, or pair the PS Vita, with a um, SNES emulator, and then play some SNES games, just to show you guys that it works. So all you want to do is just click OK on these, once you know they're working. So I'm going to be using the SNES 9X. You guys can pair this controller with anything you want now, but I'm just going to double click and open this. Now I'm just going to go to input and go on to input configurations. I'm just going to keep it on joypad 1. Now what you want to do is, this is probably the same for most controller input um, programs and stuff like that, but you just want to click each one and then press each key at the same time. So on up, I will press up on the PS Vita, left, I will press left on the PS Vita, then down, then right. Basically, just go through the buttons. For B, I'm going to use that as circle. A is going to be X. Um, then I can do Y is triangle, X is square, then I've got start, select, left and right, um, up on the uh, joypad, and then right, and then down, and then left. So you go, that is the complete, that is the sort of button layout complete to the best. Now I'm just going to make sure it's enabled and then click OK. Now I'm just going to launch up a game and let's just test out if it actually works. Right guys, so now I'm going to test out Super Bomberman. Um, with the controller, so let's just have a look. Is it working? Let's just try it. So let's press start. Yep, guys, so as you can see, I'm moving my PS Vita right now, and it seems to be working. So let's just test out a quick game as well, because uh, it's always good just to check it works. Right, so on the game right now, let's just test out some gameplay. So as you can see, it works uh, just by using the D-pad. Now, I'm pretty sure I set X as A, so let's just give that a try. There you go, so that seems to work as well. I've just screwed myself over. So yeah, pretty cool considering you can use your PS Vita as like a games controller. Um, this pretty much works for everything. It pretty much picks it up as just like a your average PC game controller. So you can play this as quite a few games. It probably works with Fortnite as well. I'm not too sure, haven't tried it. But yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. And also, when you go to disconnect your PS Vita, so I'll disconnect mine right now, what you actually do is press um, select and start at the same time. So if I press it right now, as you can see, I get a message saying um, the PS Vita has been disconnected or whatever. And now I'm just back on my home screen and it's completely disconnected. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you use your PS Vita as sort of like a PC game controller. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.